In 2024, science named lenacapavir as its breakthrough of the year. As a pre-exposure prophylactic or PrEP injection, it provides six months of protection from HIV, achieving an unprecedented 100% efficacy in a trial of women and girls and 99.9% .9 efficacy in a trial of diverse people who have sex with men. Lenacapavir uses a new way to target the HIV replication cycle that could also be useful for developing drugs targeting other viruses. While there's still no vaccine in sight, lenacapavir has the potential to severely reduce HIV infections globally. But lenacapavir wasn't the only remarkable advance last year. Here are other notable achievements you might have missed in 2024. A new genetically targeted pesticide spray was approved in the U.S. It targets the Colorado potato beetle, which causes half a billion dollars in crop damage each year and is extremely resistant to existing chemical pesticides. This new approach takes advantage of a natural process called RNA interference, which most cells use to regulate gene expression. The RNA in the pesticide blocks the beetle's ability to remove damaged proteins, causing them to die within days but has no effect on non-target species. Other forms of RNA-based pesticides are in the works, but researchers are wary of the fact that pest species are notorious for quickly evolving resistance to threats. New insights have shaken up our view of plate tectonics, with researchers laying out a compelling argument for the convective power of hot magma rising from the Earth's mantle. This process was initially thought to only impact rift zones along the boundaries of tectonic plates. But scientists now think that the upwelling of mantle rock creates slow-flowing vortices that pass under the cold interiors of continents. These waves in the mantle could strip away heavier rocks, leaving behind lighter rocks that rise up. This might explain how plateaus have formed in the middle of plates. Mantle waves may also drive explosive eruptions called kimberlites, that are known for bringing diamonds to the surface of the Earth. A new organelle has been found in the cells of some marine algae. Known as nitroplasts, they're named for their ability to turn nitrogen from the atmosphere into ammonia, a key nutrient that fuels cell growth and division. Some bacteria, like the ones found in symbiosis with legumes, are capable of doing this. But this is the first time this ability has been found in eukaryotes, complex cells with a membrane-bound nucleus. DNA studies show that the organelles arose about 100 million years ago from a partnership between marine algae and cyanobacteria. Some researchers are eager to find out if this organelle could be used to create self-fertilizing crops, though there's a lot left to learn about how this cellular structure works before that can happen. In other eukaryotic news, 1.6 billion-year-old fossils in China are shifting the evolutionary timeline of multicellular life. Researchers used to think eukaryotes started out as large single cells, then began linking up into chains of cells to form simple multicellular structures hundreds of millions of years later. It wasn't until the Cambrian that more complex organisms emerged. But these microscopic fossils, named Qingshanyi magnifica, resemble some present-day algae, suggesting that multicellular eukaryotes emerged 600 million years earlier than previously thought. Researchers have confirmed the existence of a new type of magnetism. In ferromagnets, the kind that sticks to your refrigerator, neighboring atoms have unpaired electrons that spin in the same direction, magnetizing the material. In antiferromagnets, the electrons spin in opposite directions, giving them no net magnetism. Several teams have now demonstrated a third type of magnetism, called alter magnetism. Alter magnets have an alternating pattern of electron spins, like that of antiferromagnets. They also share a key feature with ferromagnets, the violation of what's known as time reversal symmetry. Scientists believe alter magnets could be harnessed to create ultra fast magnetic switches for electronics. Starship, the world's largest and most powerful rocket from SpaceX, has turned heads with multiple successful launches. It also achieved a remarkable technical feat, catching the boosters that power the rocket. By relighting some of its engines, the boosters from the rocket slowed to a near hover. Mechanical claws on the launch tower then snatched the rocket out of the air after its seven-minute flight. This marks a potential leap forward in space shuttling for science, industry, and exploration, as fully reusable starships could dramatically cut the cost of putting instruments and people in space.
Ancient DNA has given us new insights into the genealogies of people who died thousands of years ago. By analyzing bits of genetic code shared between ancient people, researchers can now estimate how closely related two people are. Using this technique on databases of ancient genomes revealed unlikely connections, like fifth-degree relatives buried over a thousand kilometers apart on the steppes of Eurasia 5,000 years ago. Coupled with better ways to extract DNA and lower analysis costs, scientists can now dive deep into the history of individual archaeological sites. One such study showed that 2,500 years ago, Celtic chieftains inherited power through their mothers. The successful launch and deployment of JWST was 2022's Breakthrough of the Year. Now that the telescope has been up and running for close to three years, it's expanding our understanding of the universe. The telescope was specifically designed to study the first billion years of the universe, a period known as the Cosmic Dawn. Initial observations have captured a thousand times more early galaxy candidates than researchers expected. Studies in 2024 revealed that these ancient galaxies contained enormous amounts of gas and dust, likely enabling stars to grow more rapidly and efficiently. Autoimmune diseases like lupus and multiple sclerosis occur when a person's immune system attacks their own body. Current immune-suppressing drugs don't always stop disease progression and can have severe side effects. In 2024, researchers saw remarkable improvement in treating seriously ill patients using chimeric antigen receptor T-cell, or CAR-T therapy. Genetically engineering T-cells isolated from the patient can destroy the B-cells that are responsible for releasing the toxic autoantibodies that attack healthy tissue. So far, more than 30 patients have been successfully treated for autoimmune conditions, but scientists are still trying to figure out how long the treatments last. From the flowing mantle of the Earth to the outer reaches of the universe, 2024 proved to be another notable year in science, and new achievements will undoubtedly unfold in 2025.